Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. What's going on? Let's keep working on the game. Well, we just made a kind of level thingy below the player. And what I'm going to make now is I'm going to make a, a little adjustment to, so it goes minus 20. I want to make it maybe minus 18. I want to make it look good. Let me see. It's got to look perfect. Oh no. Minus 22. It's a few pixels up. I think it's a little off. That's the thing. Uh, 22. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let me make this happen. Let me make a... Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um... Let me think. I'm thinking. Let's have the EXP bar right here. Boom, boom. And then. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, so, in game. We're gonna make. An EXP bar. Player EXP bar. So, where is the UI stuff? Here's the text. Here's the UI stuff. Uh, rectangle shape player H exp bar okay so we'll go in here game init UI here we go so here's all the player stuff this player exp bar that set size I think it's gonna be like uh, it's gonna be. Let's find the max size 25.f and then 10.f, I think, or like 60.f and vector 2f. Bam. Okay, there we go. This player exp bar that set fill color, color. Now we're going to do this. We're going to make a 0.f. Blue is going to be 255.f. Now green is going to be 50.f and then 255.f or 150.f. And then alpha is going to be 200.f. So it's going to be a little transparent. Just a little bit. And then this player exp bar that set position um, this okay why am I doing this I don't need a for loop in here do I I don't think so okay I don't need to set the position either well I will copy that though uh, there we have it Boom, boom. Now, update UI. This is where I need to set the player. Mm. So, players.size. Player expert by this. Players. Maybe I should put it outside here. Static text. And then bars. There we go. Let me just do that. And then boom. Uh, let me do this, actually. Okay. Um, set position index. Let me do this for a while. Index dot get position how do I do this well I basically just want to copy this dot set position so instead of minus 22 I'm gonna go plus 25 and I just want to set it there 
go. There we go. And then f screw draw. <laughs> said bad word. Screw draw UI. Let's go to. Here we go. This window dot or draw this player exp bar and then I just updated it already and let's go let us see what's going on okay set string we don't need to set a string either just like that okay so that bar has to go down like 50 more a little bit a little bit to the side uh, so this is gonna be a pain 50 more so that's 75 this 80 and then plus maybe 25 how's this gonna look what oh oh it's because of the external hard drive don't worry about that uh, there we go now let's see okay it's there just a little more just a little more and it has to be a little bigger just a little more nine no this can be too much 86 86 it's gonna give us that we need to go down like two more pixels 88 this is what's so tedious about this mmm Okay, 89. 89 should be perfect. So there we go. 89 is perfect. And that position I like, and I just gotta make it maybe like. Maybe like. How much bigger? Let's do that as well. And then how much bigger? Set size. Just to see the max size. 110 come on update there we go okay it's a little too big and uh, what about 95 let's see 95 is just about per 90 would be perfect so it's 90 big <clears throat> Um. Okay, so 90 big, and that position is good. Now it's gonna start at zero, and it's gonna be 10. Now it's gonna depend on how big it is. So the position, this player, exp bar dot set size. Mm, oh no, set scale. You know what we could do? We could make it max. 90 where is it 90 90 90 where is it oh my god here we go 90 and we're just gonna use set scale so set scale uh, vector 2f or I don't need that here I think I can do x is gonna be 0 0.f and 1.f now this is going to depend on the percentage. It's going to go from 0 to 100 percent. So this players at index dot get exp get exp divided by this player in this that get exp next so that should give us a scale for it and then just like that now it should be zero right now yeah it's zero that's good 
Now if we set player if we set player.hpp if we set the exp to 50 it's going to give us 50% Oh wait, what? Isn't that working though? Is that not working? EXP, EXP next. Wait, what? Why is this not working? Combat. game okay so exp divided by exp next then 1.f let me see no line this should give us 0.5 0 because it's an integer wow okay uh, let's just make one of these to float and then float both of these to float and what is gonna happen now and now it's 0.5 okay that's good so now I know what the problem is let's just remove this that was such an easy problem static cast float I just have to do it on one of these pretty sure that's just gonna give us what we need because the whole thing is gonna be float there you go there you go perfect now if I set player and set the exp to 100 that's how you make bars guys and girls then we are leveled up bam alright so that's good and I like the color as well it's pretty good uh, I would though I would like to make that color a little less bluish a little less greenish let me see Eh, eh. I mean, what can you do? What about 200? It's a little brighter. What about 90? Make it a little more teal. I think that's gonna make it a little more teal. A little more light blue. That's good. That's a nice color. All right, there we go. Um, there you go. Then we're just gonna go to player first we're gonna see alright let's start this off at least go to player and get exp actually get level that's good now we're gonna have a update level we're gonna have a function void update leveling and we're gonna just do this or we're gonna have a thing here Align void gain exp int exp and then this exp plus equals exp so that's gonna gain stuff and we're gonna update level. Uh, where is it? Player. Just like that. Player. Update leveling. All right. So we'll keep working on this in the next video, guys and girls. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye bye.